Show them your handiwork. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not me moving out literally two days. Not even two. It is we're two past. Days. Oh, we're just two. You're we're just like 48 days. hours now. <gasps> Who stole all my stuff? So, you're probably wondering how I got here. Or maybe not, I don't know. It's kind of a funny story. Let's take it back to February 2020 when I went apartment hunting in LA and found my perfect space. I signed the lease, moved in, and ran into quite a few fiascos on the way. I started planning and shopping for the ultimate apartment makeover, went thrifting, wrote a song about a chair, bought a beautiful sofa that was way too expensive, and then Miss Rona arrived! Yay! I flee back to Canada to be with my family during the panini and watch my rent money go down the drain for an entire year? Up until now! I just never felt safe going back and flying and all that kind of stuff, but my lease was about to end, so I had no choice but to finally go back and move out. Welcome to moving, moving, moving out, moving in, move, moving, well, moving out, moving into my apartment for a month and then moving out and... Moving... So the plan was to go to LA for around a month to collect my things, sell all my things, clean up, cancel my utilities, do all the things, and then move back to Canada for the time being. So my couch was delivered when I was already back in Canada. This is the first time I'm seeing it ever in person and feeling it and touching it. And I have been looking forward to this for 12 months. I need to sit on this freaking couch. Wait, I gotta see my room. <laughs> oh my God. It's kind of underwhelming. Oh my God, it's the thrifted basket that I never am gonna use. <laughs> Dude, honestly. Okay, let's sit on this freaking couch. Wait, oh. So soft, it's so soft. Where am I gonna keep it? Wait, it's so, so oh my god. Ah, especially after that flight, sitting upright like <laughs> And my bed at home is so hard. This is what my room looked like after a year of not living in it. You know, pretty messy, but pretty normal for me. I decided to throw all my bedding in the laundry because of all the dust and flies, but we will get to that in a minute. Welcome to my bathroom. Today I'm in here to do a deep cleaning because let me tell you, since I've been gone, some shit has gone down in here. Literally. So a couple months ago, my roommate moved in, was settling in, was doing fine, but then he noticed that some flies were starting to fly out from my room and he was like, that's very weird. No one's in there. So he left it alone. But then it started getting worse. So he went into my bathroom and disaster struck. What he, what he found, you probably want to just like skip to this time frame if you don't want to be disgusted by the remnants of what was going on in this bathroom. This is your chance now to skip. It was, uh, my bathroom was flooded and it was infested with flies. It's just <laughs> When I first saw it, I was like, "I get me out of here. Like I wasn't even in there, but I just like wanted to be out of there. Basically what had happened was the shower flooded by itself. Like water was coming up from the sewage system. And then there were flies in the toilet. And then it was just like flooding and it smelled disgusting because it's like poop water. He called the plumber in here and basically he had to like dig up the whole toilet, like all the plumbing underneath. And they discovered that someone had like thrown a, a napkin in there or something. And it wasn't me. I was here for like four days. It was just like lodged down there because I guess I wasn't flushing. Like the water just kind of came up through the sewage. I don't really know. But basically ever since then the flies have died 
but they have been dying all over my room. <laughs> and so I've discovered them in my bed, on my floor, everywhere, and mostly in the bathroom. There's dead flies everywhere and just like a layer of filth. So that's why I have to clean right now and that's why I look gross because I am in need of a shower, but I need to clean this bathroom first. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's get to it. finished and all clean and sparkling and you know all that kind of stuff just trust me that it was clean and fly free just trust me so somehow I dicked around for way too long and suddenly I went from a month to move out to a week and I still hadn't sold my couch yet which is the biggest piece that I had to worry about it's such a nice couch though and I paid way too much money for it I thought it deserved better than just to be left on the street. So I decided to list it on Facebook Marketplace. And this is the process of me taking pictures of it to list it on the Facebook. Just put it in there, just put it there. Wow, you just like leave junk everywhere, don't you? No, I don't like it. We're trying to think of how to stage this sofa. Well, I was just gonna take pictures of it plain, but Jesse is saying, my roommate is saying. On TikTok, they're like, if you stage it and put like a rug and like some fake plants, it'll sell it because it'll look like it's in an actual environment. And mm. they'll be like, that couch could look good in my apartment or my house. Or Should we sit on it and be like, humans not included oh i didn't say put people in there i just said put a rug in and plan oh if we sit in it so like it gives the like gives them the feeling that means it just looks more used well you know how on like advertise for like for like perfume advertisements you can't we're not okay. selling a perfume <laughs> yeah but you have to sell a lifestyle we have to like lift this up and put a friggin it's, carpet under okay. it should we it's do it really it's really not that hard should we do it just do it Ooh, see? Yeah, Wait, kind of a vibe, actually. What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, now go! Okay. I'm actually sweating, like, I'm not joking. Ha! What if I just don't put it on? All this work for nothing. No, I just take a picture. What are you sweating? That's, what do you mean, what am I sweating? It's you so literally water. just brought out a rug. Okay, let's go get a blue bottle. Okay! <laughs> So I listed it on Facebook Marketplace and waited. Suddenly, another couple days had passed and still, I had not started packing. And now here I was a mere 48 hours before my return flight, finally realizing that, oh shit, I 
gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. So the first step was cutting out a chunk of the drywall to match the paint color at the paint store so that we could paint over any imperfections so that I could get my security deposit back. Why does this feel so high stakes? Because you're literally ripping oh, a square cool. out of the wall. You're... They said, they said, don't even put thumbtacks in. Oh. Not me moving out literally two days. Not even two. It is we're two past. Days. Oh, we're just two. You're we're just like two 48 days. hours now. <laughs> it's the Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Can we move out in 48 hours? Oh. I did not sleep a second last night, guys. Oh. It's the way that I also have a COVID test in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. <laughs> 8 minutes. Look, our handyman has arrived. <laughs> oh. I'm a big, strong man. <laughs> I'm here to help you. We better give up now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Do you have a hammer? You just wrecked the wall. Oh. I rebuilt it. I came in like a wreck. It's just me cutting a hole in the wall for 10 minutes while singing copyright. Let's songs. show them your handiwork. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? We literally have 48 hours. 48 hours to clean this. I actually think oh. Big Strong Man would be faster. Wait, me? I'm the you wanna man. be? What? Are you sure this is gonna work? No. Thank you, handyman. A gift for you. You're a hero. <laughs> We're getting the paint matched right now, and I don't know the sheen of the paint, but we're hoping for the best. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I'm freaking the hell out. Honestly, at this point, I have closer to like 24 hours to move out. I was trying to sell my couch. No one has bought it yet. Someone came to look at it, but she was like, mm. ghost. I was gonna get rid of all my stuff, like give my table, my bed frame, mattress, everything to my friends and then sell the couch. I might have to find a storage space for it, but it's kind of last minute. I'm gonna see what happens. If I can get a storage space for tomorrow, movers for tomorrow. I'm gonna do what I can right now to pack up, move stuff into my suitcase that I'll be bringing home, and then I will just deal with things as we go along the day, and hopefully I don't have a breakdown, although I feel it coming on already. I'm gonna start with this pile of clothes on my bed. And take a nap. Just kidding. I just need to start now. Okay, so I've gotten um, a lot of my clothes into the suitcase. I still have some on the bed because I don't know what I want to wear today, tomorrow, and to the airport yet. I'm going to the, the closet. I am still recording vocals for my song. <laughs> really high quality setup right here. So I wanted to like keep all these clothes in here to absorb sound, but I feel like I'm cutting it very close and I feel like I should probably prioritize actually moving. I'm gonna move all my clothes out. These clothes may be fly infested. These are all going in a separate suitcase and the second I get home, they're going in the laundry. I would do it here, but well, should I just do it here? That's a lot of work. Well, 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 well. Okay, fine, I'll just put, I'll just do it now.
right, let's talk about moving the furniture. Basically, I have to get a storage unit. The problem is I need it for literally tomorrow. You know, usually you would book these like at least a couple weeks in advance. I'm cutting it close, but shout out to my managers for helping me with this. I was like stressed out of my mind. They're like, I got you. We'll help you search stuff up. Calm down. Now I'm emailing with a moving company to try to get a quote. Bruh. At first it was like, okay, yeah, we can store your couch for like $120 a month. I was like, okay, that's like kind of expensive, but not that bad. <sighs> Cause usually storage units are like, you pay a price for like a certain size, but they're like, no, 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 no. If you have more stuff, we're charging you more. So now I just have to email them a list of things that I have <laughs> and hopefully it's not too expensive. Let me make this list. Okay guys, I think it's been like two hours. I've been trying to figure this whole thing out. I think I'm on the right track. I just reserved a storage unit. I got a five by 10. Hopefully it's gonna be big enough. If I do end up needing a bigger unit, I probably can just be like, hey, can I get a bigger unit? Hopefully. If I did my math correctly, which I am a dropout, so I don't know if it's accurate, but it should, it should fit. I also contacted some movers. I actually contacted the ones that I used last time, so I do trust them. And I was like, do you, do y'all give discounts for repeat customers? They're like, we can ask the manager. And I was like, thank you. So that is the plan. I feel slightly better now. Do I? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is grind time. We are T minus, <gasps> we have five hours until the movers come and um, this is still the state of my room. What I needed to get this morning was tape because I have these cardboard boxes from when I moved in. I like couldn't put anything in them because I didn't have this freaking packaging tape. So I was like, I'll just wake up early in the morning. It's nine o'clock. Let's put this together. check out if the space is actually big enough because I kind of didn't know that I had that much stuff. For some reason, I thought it was just going to be my couch and my bed. So we'll see if the space is big enough and then I'll work out the paperwork and hopefully make it back in time for the movers to come and also for me to finish packing. Stressed yow. Yeah. Just finished at the storage place. The lady who was helping us was really nice, but so slow. She kept like trying to chat with us. And we're like, you gotta go. The movers are now at my apartment and we're zooming back. I still have to pack. So I think I'm just gonna throw it in a box. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Couch song? Okay, I gotta, I gotta pack. They're already here. And I still have stuff sprawled all over, so. Let's do it. It's grind time, it's grind time, it's grind time. It's grind time. You wanna take my toilet paper? Lunch time, we have another microwave meal. Taste test, check. After poop. Not bad. 
Okay, so I think they have taken everything to the truck. They're just loading it now outside. And I think we're gonna go soon. Um, it's, um, why is it empty? Um, um, what? <laughs> I was gonna act out a scene. I was gonna be like, walked into my room. <gasps> Who stole all my stuff? Okay. I was... That's not even funny. Oh, he said I'm not a comedian. I'm losing it. Dun, 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 dun. We're going back to the storage unit. Is anybody still watching this video? Hello? into the storage unit. We're finished. It is the next day. I have to finish cleaning, but it's pretty much empty in here. And that means it is time for the obligatory empty apartment karaoke session. In another some cleaning. Yes, I do the cooking. Yes, I do the cleaning. Yes, I do some, some, some days. Okay, anyway, I have to um, patch up the walls because I had some pretty heavy mirrors on the walls. And also, let me just say, I think that the landlord did a really crappy job like prepping the apartment. For us, like you just literally touch it and it makes a mark or like the paint comes off. So got some spackling. My roommate got some spackling. I've actually never seen this kind of spackling before in this kind of like contraption. This is like, you squeeze it out of the tube and then you use this thing to like smooth it out and then this is like a little sanding pad. So I'm gonna try that. I love doing these little like tedious things. So I love spackling walls. So this shall be fun. Okay, here we have a little, I mean not, that's pretty big. It's a uh, scratches on the walls from my mirror. If you can see that right there. Let's test this out. Just squeeze it on. I'm just gonna let that dry and I'm gonna do the rest. as you can see, because it's dark outside, but I'm letting the spackling dry for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to do some vacuuming around the room. As you guys know, we had an appearance first from some flies. Well, it turns out I did not get rid of all of them because there were some behind my furniture that I have yet to vacuum up. So I'm gonna do that now, but I'm gonna spare you guys the visual of the flies. I have the 
paint that we matched to the wall. Hopefully it fits. I'm gonna try to match the texture of the wall too because it's like not super smooth. I don't think it matches exactly. Let's take a closer look. before my flight. My apartment was all cleaned out and patched up and all that was left was to say goodbye to my dear friend that I only got to live in for a month out of the 14 months that I paid for. It was a solid fling if I may say so myself. Honestly, I don't know when I'll be back in LA. I will always have fond memories of that apartment in my heart. For the time being, I am back in Canada just because I have some medical issues to deal with with my jaw, so I have to undergo a couple months of treatment for that. It was a solid month living in that apartment, so no complaints. Well, so, I mean some complaints, but overall no complaints. And that is the finale of a year-long journey of my LA apartment adventure. That was really just a giant fiasco. It was fun fiasco. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Also, my pants have been unbuttoned this entire time. Overall, I am very grateful that I got to rent this apartment and live in it for a month. It just was very unfortunate timing. I had to put my safety first. This was what ended up happening. No regrets. Anyway, thank you for joining along this journey with me. I hope that the next time I rent out an apartment, I actually get to live in it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time, hooligans. Bye! Bye.